Hi, my name is Jacob Adams. I'm a fitness and leadership coach. My main work, the tenet of my work, is called Common Sense Self Mastery. Have you ever wondered how important it is to manage your mental energy, your focus, and your will? We wake up in the morning, and like a lot of people, I myself sometimes get tempted to go to social media. You know, luckily I have not checked my email in like three or four days. You know, don't know if that's avoidance so much now, but I've actually broken away from a lot of email. But still sometimes I get tempted to check Facebook. You know, what I do sometimes when I do, when it, when it does win is uh, I'll just look at any updates for me that were about the posts I put, but I don't go into other people's world uh, first thing in the morning. And the reason I don't is because I want to manage my own focus, my own in intention and agenda for the day. Uh, I mean, this video, for example, could not be made if I haven't thought about it, if I haven't written it down, I hadn't you know, put it in, into my subconscious. And because of the focus that I've done, because of the things I've done, I've been able to get this video out because I've been able to manage my energy. A friend calls me today and she says, you know, I don't want you to listen to Lady Gaga. She's satanic, etc., etc." Now this is a good friend of mine. And I'm like, gee, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know what to tell you. Um, because I'm aware that Lady Gaga does, you know, have a controversial kind of Illuminati-ish, you know, reputation on some things. I am a fan of her, so it's sort of like I'm in this juxtaposition, right, where I understand what my friend is saying, who does care about me, and at the same time I like the music, so I'm like, <laughs> my friend's like, I'm very sad for you, right? And she's being pretty intense here about her emotions. And I'm like, well, you know, mm, you know, I get it, but what do you want me to do? Like, I'm not gonna listen to her album today. I don't really, her new album was, really wasn't like my favorite in the world. Like if it's okay with you, like I'll just, you know, let you go for now, right? And the reason I'm bringing up this story is because that's just one story of what happened today where to get this video to you, I had to hang up off the hang up the phone. I had to get batteries for my mic that you're listening to me speak on, right? I meditated before I got on here and I had to work out, right? And I had to eat and I had to, I've talked to my friend today and um, I've talked to other friends and we have to ask ourselves if, if this, if, our attention is being utilized and our mental energy is being utilized in other areas versus what we really intend to. Like this, like this video is my intention for today. Get these videos done, right? And so we really have to manage our mental focus. And it starts with, if you look at some of the other videos I've made, it starts with the first thing in the morning with our meditation, with not checking social media, with not answering texts so readily first thing in the morning. And if we can manage that, our mind and our intention, then we can grasp and plug into our mind what we really intend to do and what's important to us based on our values. And we start managing our time on earth at a better, at a better rate. And when this occurs, if you really think about it, all that you are really, I mean, all that you are really is this living being which is composed of, at the highest realm, the highest vibration of love. You're a living, loving beam that has time on earth. So you could say that if you're managing where you put your attention, will, time, and energy, you're doing well. So, you know, today, my biggest win is getting this video out to you. I owe the YouTube community about 20 videos because I wanted to do one a week. So, you know, after this video, I'll owe 19. And, you know, when we, I've observed myself in seeing, okay, well, you know, when I wake up mindfully and with full 
attention and intention and complete peace got my night's rest and I have my water and I give myself the fuel that I need to build and create energy then when I do those things I'm in a more fertile place to have a more productive and fulfilling day when I do those things wake up with managing my intention my attention my will my energy again I create enough space and movement to develop that fulfillment and that productive day. I said that twice because it's important that you understand we all want that. If we want to manage our time well so that we can maximize our life, it's to gain fulfillment and productivity, right? Because that's why we want to manage time. It's to get an outcome that fulfills us or a, a, an alignment. And so in the past you could say, you know, we read the newspaper, right? That was the past. And so now we are very much mind aware as the overall collective, like productive circle that we don't want to look at the newspaper. We actually want to avoid the news. That's one thing I've done well in 2017 is avoid the news. Now, you know, I do know that Kathy Griffin did hold Donald Trump's head, a bloody head. I mean, I'm not like living in a box or something that I have no access to any media or news. I'm not saying that. What I am saying is that, and I know of the Syrian crisis or the Syrian missiles that were launched back in like March or so and or April. Um, and like I said, I'm saying I'm real well aware of everything that's occurring uh, in, in large strokes, but I'm not obsessing over the media. So in the past, you could say it was more uh, of a respectable thing to do is to be consumed by media and stuff. And currently, what we currently are is we as a productive people, uh, these inner circles, these, this uh, group of common sense self-mastery people that uh, definitely is part of my tribe, we aren't about checking uh, the news. And we have a very uh, sophisticated look upon how we look at those things. So definitely what you want to do is when you wake up, first thing, if you want to look at some of my other videos, I go into it, how to create energy. But briefly, make sure that you wake up and you do not look at your phone as far as your Facebook or your social media, your email, first thing. Get to drink your water, do your intention. You may want to do some yoga, meditation, or whatever it is that's going to help create that fertile energy with you. That's first and foremost what you want to do, and then write down your attention and agenda for the day. It's very common for people to just overlook that this is, this is the, how you win the day. Um, they say it's been said that if you can win the morning, you win the day. So it's very common for people to overlook this. So keep in mind, you may, you may yourself may overlook this, how simple it is, even if it's, even though it is simple. Um, I'd love for you to subscribe and let me hear your comments. Let me hear what you think about managing energy. I myself am a practicing yogi. If you want to talk about the depths of meditation or connect to me on that level, that's perfectly welcome. If you'd like to talk to me uh, in the scopes of anything from um, marketing or fitness or CrossFit or bodybuilding or anything. I'd love to hear your input. Uh, this is Jacob Adams signing off. Have a wonderful day. Peace.